Hey guys, you know what day it is? It's Saturday and we are in the R8 today. So, just gonna give you guys a quick rundown of ATMs and how I make money at them and what they're kind of, like how the business model works. That way you have a better understanding. There's a lot of guys that will charge money for this. Like, you know, they their, their interest is in selling you a course about how to make money doing ATMs not actually maybe making money themselves doing ATMs, but in selling you the equipment required and the training or the, the knowledge to be able to execute that. So let's kind of go over how you make money on ATMs. So the way that the ATM owner uh, operator makes money on an ATM is through what's called a surcharge. And this surcharge is for the convenience of being able to access your money uh, in a location. And typically, typically like they run between three dollars and twenty-five cents, and somewhere around, uh, somewhere around that, like somewhere around four seventy-five for like a strip club or like a, a big bar or something like that. Uh, I run my surcharges at three dollars and seventy-five cents, uh, and let me kind of give you a breakdown of how that's split up and how much of that I actually get to keep. So. The utilities and stuff like that for the ATM, like your internet, your power, stuff like that, those are typically all provided by the location. Um, so the location owner, owner, in exchange for uh, getting the ATM placed there and providing utilities and that kind of thing, gets paid a percentage of the surcharge. And I typically pay my, my location owners a dollar a transaction. And that, like, you know, that's just the number that I came up with that felt like it was really fair uh, to them and to me. Um, so yeah, they get a dollar a transaction. Now, out of their side of the transaction, they get charged the surcharge for uh, accessing the network. Uh, and when I say that, I'm talking about card networks like uh, Discover, MasterCard, American Express, stuff like that. So that's kind of the, the breakdown on their end. So what do I do with the other $2.75 of that transaction? Uh, 25 cents goes to the machine manufacturer or my machine distributor uh, for a lifetime warranty. Um, and what that allows me to do is I don't have to worry about replacing machine or parts or anything like that. If something breaks on it, it's not my problem. So uh, the next piece is I get $2.50 a transaction, which sounds pretty good. I also, just so you guys understand, uh, to limit my liability for chargebacks, and you know, just stuff like, you know, where I'm not having to load the machines like every two minutes, uh, I limit the withdrawal amount per transaction to $2. So, uh, or to $200, excuse me, not $2. Uh, so if we go through and like someone is doing a max withdrawal, I'm still making, you know, about a percent and a half uh, on, on the money that they're pulling out of the machine and the machine settles every day. So I, that money goes back in my bank account from their card, back in my bank account uh, at the middle, like about noon the next day. And so that's kind of the, that's kind of the deal. Um, you know, this is not a, this is not an overly complex kind of business. This one is actually quite easy. What we do, what we do run into a little bit and not a lot just a little bit are on the on the machines themselves keeping them stocked so stocked full of cash so it's typically like any other vending business you know you have you've got stock in the machine you have a certain volume transactions per day and then you know you have to make sure that you've got enough stock in the machine to handle whatever the day is or go load the machine. Um, only difference is it's not like they can go through and get a, uh, you know, they're buying a Twix instead of a Snickers. This is, there's either money in the machine or not. It's very binary in that regard. Um, so that's kind of the, that's kind of the breakdown on ATMs. 
how to make money in ATMs and where your where you should be looking at and who you should be looking to for advice on ATM business. You know, if someone's whole job, if someone's whole channel is predicated on the fact that they're gonna teach you, they're gonna sell you a course, they're gonna provide a master class or whatever on a business, odds are that business isn't actually their model. Their model is in selling training. So uh, I'm perfectly fine giving away the information for free uh, on any business that I do. The reason for that is the power of the information is not in having it, it's in the execution. And so beware of people that are not interested in providing you know, details on how their stuff actually works. You know, I, am I gonna post my contract? No, I paid money for that. Am I gonna tell you how it works? Absolutely. I, you know, you guys, there may be some, there's probably someone watching this channel right now who can execute at least on the level that I can, maybe better. But what they're lacking is, you know, maybe they just don't have the, they don't know what it is they don't know about the thing and they're concerned with that. They, they are worried that that might be uh, a problem for them. And so, all right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave you with a little bit of a little bit of info via this video and a whole lot of motivation. And then it, that is, you can do this. If I can execute at this level, you can execute at this level. I don't know if it's you specifically, but someone out there watching this video absolutely can. And I look forward to your success. So, gentlemen, ladies, I hope you all have an excellent day. Enjoy your Saturday, and we'll catch up with you next week. See y'all.